Hello my dear students. Welcome back to the ICT class. Today we are going to learn more about Scratch. In this video you are going to learn what input and output are and how to make a program that reads input and makes output. Now open page 56 and 57 of your Oxford Primary Computing book. The unit is 4.2 input and output. Now let's see what is input and output. Input means any signal that goes into the computer. Okay, so how does the signal go into the computer? It's by clicking or by typing. So which device do you think we use to t click and type? Yes, it is keyboard and mouse. So, keyboard and mouse are our input devices. Okay, keyboard and mouse is the input device. So, what is output? Output means anything that comes out of the computer. That is nothing but by checking on the screen. You will know what is on the computer, right? So, that is the output device. Display on the screen and sound. Okay. In Scratch, when you program it, you can see the sprite either making the shape or you can see it giving you a message. So, if all that is output, whatever you type into the computer is all input. Today, we will see how to check, give the input and get the output. After this lesson, your program will let you input your name and make the computer output your name. It's a very simple program. Let's see how to make it. I'm going to type scratch and it gives me the prompt. I'll click on it. I'll click on sign in. I'll type my username and password. Then I clicked on create. If you want to watch more tutorials, you can click on this and there are a lot of tutorials on how to make amazing projects. Alright, I'll go back. So I told you today is our lesson. You are going to give an input by asking a question and getting an answer is the output. So let's begin. First of all, let me change the sprite. I don't want this. I'll change the sprite. a different character okay now to this character I want to ask the question so ask command ask command is in sensing block let me click on the sensing block yes this is here it is the ask command what is your name let me keep it this way so when you ask a question there is always an answer so let's give another command from looks block, I'll take say nothing, sorry, say hello for two seconds. No, I'm not going to say hello. I want the answer to be displayed for two seconds. Let's see what happens. I'll take the answer command. I'll keep it away here. Yeah, what have I missed in this program? Can you tell me? Yes, when flag clicked from the events block. Okay, it can be when flag clicked, it can be any of this. Let's try something different today. I'll click on flag. Answer is there. So let's see what it does. What's your name? It's asking what's your name. So I'll type my name. It's Miss Ria. I'll click on this. See, it says Miss Ria for how many seconds? Just two seconds. You can ask any question. You can type your own questions. Okay. Now let me change this when flag click to something else. I'll take when, when this sprite is clicked. Not when flag clicked, when this sprite is clicked. So let's see what happens. Okay. When this sprite is clicked, see, when I clicked on the sprite, it's asking the question. Right. Now click on this and it is all, it's given a border of yellow. That means it's running. I'll type it's 
Sorry. I'll click on it. Type and yes, it says ML for two seconds, right? Now let me do some more modification to this. I'll click on the looks block again. Let me try to switch the costume. Let's see what happens. Switch costume. Okay. There are different kinds of costume. I'll tell it takes which costume to be. Okay. Now when I click on the sprite, I get this. So I'll type the name Rancy. I click on Okay, so it's saying Rancy costume has been changed, right? Yes, let me do one more modification. I'll select a backdrop. I've used this baseball backdrop. Okay, I've kept the sprite here. Now let me click on this. If I click on the sprite, the same thing will happen. So I'll do one more thing. Instead of switch costume, I'll click on next costume. I don't want the switch costume. I'll give next costume. So let's see what happens now. What's your name? This time I'm going to type Sarah. Yes, once again I'll click. I'll click, I'll type no. Yes, it's changed the costume, right? Once again, I will click, I'll type Uria. Yes, again, the costume has changed and it works. Right? Now this is our output and whatever we are typing when we click the sprite, whatever I am typing here is the input. I hope you have understood what is input and output and how to use input and output in scratch programming. Thanks for watching the video. Stay healthy, stay blessed and thank you.